Hi everyone, I'm William Moses, and we'll be presenting our work on Polygeist, a polyhedral C and C++ compiler built on MLIR. The polyhedral model makes it easy to analyze and specify program transformations that best exploit the available hardware. This includes loop restructuring for spatial and temporal locality, automatic parallelization, among others. As a result, the polyhedral model is one of the best frameworks for optimizing compute-intensive programs such as machine learning kernels or scientific simulations, as well as for programming accelerators. Polyhedral tools tend to fall in one of two categories. Source-based tools like Pluto and PPCG operate directly on C and C++ code. This enables the tool to operate directly on structured control flow like ifs and fors. Its effectiveness, however, is hindered by not applying optimization prior to polyhedral transformation. Moreover, the result of transformation must be expressed in C, which is known to be complex and lacks constructs, for example, reduction loops or registers not backed by memory, including vector values. Compiler-based tools like Poly or Graphite operate instead on compiler IR, which enables them to run after optimization, thus relieving one of the difficulties of source-based tools. However, these tools must be able to recover the high-level structure of loops and memory accesses, which is often imperfect or at a significant cost. Moreover, common compiler optimizations like loop invariant code motion may interfere with the recovery of information in the compiler-based tool. Finally, compiler IRs lack high-level constructs produced by polyhedral transformations, such as parallelism or reductions. Enter ML, or multi-level IR, a recent compiler framework able to simultaneously represent, optimize, and convert between different levels of abstraction, including loops, parallel reductions, polyhedral-inspired memory operations, and low-level instructions that fully cover LVMIR. Building off of MLIR, we created Polygeist, an end-to-end -end polyhedral compilation flow that is able to keep the best parts of high-level abstractions and low-level optimizations by directly lowering to and optimizing MLIR. Moreover, this added abstraction crossing flexibility enables Polygeist to create new polyhedral optimization opportunities, such as statement splitting, and greatly simplifying the implementation of others, such as parallel reduction detection. This enables Polygeist to achieve state-of-the-art performance when compared with existing source and compiler-based tools. To create this end-to-end -end compilation flow, Polygeist contains several components. Polygeist begins as a new Clang-based C and C++ frontend for MLIR that simultaneously preserves the program's high-level structure. Unlike most existing tools used in the polyhedral community, the Polygeist frontend handles entire C or C++ programs, not just the parts of the program that are representable within the polyhedral model. Polygeist then implements several passes that transform this quote standard structured MLIR directly emitted from the frontend into MLIR's polyhedral or affine dialect. Specifically, Polygeist performs this raising either when it can prove the raising to be legal or where Polygeist is instructed by a pragmascope to assume an entire region is polyhedral. From here, Polygeist connects existing polyhedral tools to MLIR, allowing them to perform transformations on programs in the MLIR affine dialect. We then run several novel transformations. Finally, Polygeist emits a binary that we can use to run an end-to-end -end evaluation of Polygeist and compare it with other tools. In doing so, Polygeist creates MLIR versions of the Polybench programs if anyone wants to create their own transformations within MLIR and compare them with existing tools. Polygeist uses Clang's abstract syntax tree as a starting point for its compiler, allowing it to use existing stable routines for parsing, semantic analysis, linkage, and so on. Polygeist must then define the corresponding MLIR type that matches the C or C++ type. Pointers, arrays, and some structs can use MLIR's structured pointer or memref type, allowing Polygeist to directly preserve existing sizes and multidimensional indexing. Polygeist identifies any allocation or deallocation instructions within the program and converts them to memref appropriate equivalents. Most control flow statements such as conditionals or loops can be directly lowered to equivalent MLIR operations. Notably, Polygeist supports advanced C++ features like templates and constructors. Let's look at a simplified example. On the left, we have some sample C code that sets every other index of an array R to a given value val. On the right, we see a simplified version of the MLIR that would be generated. Immediately, we see an allocation for a stack variable that holds the value of R. 
As these values can be overwritten, an SSA register for the argument does not suffice and is instead upgraded to a stack allocation as seen here. We then see the structured for loop that represents the C for loop in our original program. Note at this point, this is not an affine or polyhedral for loop. We can then examine how the store takes place, which first requires an explicit load of the induction variable and multiplication to compute the desired index. As we saw in our earlier example, directly lowered constructs are not yet valid polyhedral programs. Polygeist begins by running a new mem to reg pass to eliminate local variables. Additional optimizations or canonicalizations are also applied to simplify the code, including a transformation which attempts to raise and simplify while loops into for loops with known bounds. Polygeist then attempts to raise operations such as fors, ifs, loads, and stores through their affine variants. If Polygeist wasn't already told to assume that the operation is affine, this involves detecting whether the current index calculation can be represented by an equivalent affine expression, and if so, folding that index calculation into a new affine operation. Using the same example as before, we can see how raising works. First, memory allocations are omitted by the mem to reg pass. Additional simplifications are then run. Finally, we raise the remaining operations to affine variants by first raising the for and subsequently the store. We now have used Polygeist to generate polyhedral style MLAR from source. Unfortunately, MLR does not yet have affine auto-scheduling, so we chose to connect MLR with existing polyhedral tools. This has an additional benefit of allowing us to compare any future MLR native polyhedral transformations to prior work. As the open scope format is supported by many polyhedral tools, we developed a bidirectional conversion between MLIR and OpenScope, allowing us to use tools that already support OpenScope. We begin by taking the raised MLIR and performing some pre-processing transformations that make it easier to translate to OpenScope. We then generate OpenScope and pass the result to a polyhedral scheduler. In our evaluation, we chose Pluto. Finally, we convert back to MLIR and run additional optimizations and lowering. This polyhedral scheduling algorithm operates on C-like imperative statements like this multiply and accumulate line in a matrix multiplication. The MLR code we have as an input, however, doesn't contain all this information in a single operation. In fact, as shown on the right, the same program has six MLIR operations. Therefore, we need to group multiple MLIR operations into a single statement. In general, Polygeist will perform the following. For each MLIR memory write, traverse and store all operations on its use step chains until we hit a load, function argument, or constant. These operations will be extracted into their own function representing the overall statement. One major problem we need to deal with is a use step chain that spans multiple loops. For example, consider the code at the top where a lo value loaded outside a loop is used within the innermost loop. It is impossible to perfectly represent this within an open scope statement since the entire statement is evaluated in one place. Our solution is a reg to mem pass. We insert scratchpad memory when a USTEF chain spans across multiple loops, as shown in the middle figure. After reg to mem is run, statement extraction will create two statements. We must also contend with a potential read after write hazard that might have been introduced by statement extraction. Consider the code on the right. In this case, there are two store operations, both of which use instruction zero, which is loaded from A of I. Unfortunately, the first store overwrites this value making it impossible to redo this load in the second statement. Happily, this problem can be detected by value analysis. To solve the problem, we insert scratch pads, which cache the value immediately after it has been loaded. Stores that use the value after it may have been overwritten instead load from the scratch pad. To analyze the effectiveness of Polygeist, we ran three different tests. First, we compared Polygeist without polyhedral optimizations to vanilla Clang to validate that we had a fair baseline to compare against. Second, we compared Polygeist with polyhedral optimizations of two state-of-the-art polyhedral compilers, Pluto, a source-based tool, and Poly, a compiler-based tool. Finally, we performed an in-depth analysis of the optimizations enabled by Polygeist's ability to work at both a low and high level. For the baseline comparison, we evaluated three compilers, Polygeist, Clang with one round of optimization, shown as Clang Sing, and Clang with two rounds of optimization, shown as Clang. We chose to compare with both one and two runs of optimization, as Polygeist performed some optimizations on the MLIR level, as well as running Clang optimization when generating the final binary. In practice, it doesn't matter, as all three compilers perform mostly the same. Specifically, 
Polygeist is within 0.3% of the standard front-end on average. The remaining gap can largely be attributed to small tests, such as Jacobi 1D, where minor differences in assembly matter much more. Let's now take a look at the sequential polyhedral comparison. On average, when compared to a vanilla Clang, Polygeist has a 2.5x speedup, Pluto has a 2.3x speedup, and Poly has a 1.4x speedup. The big gap between Poly and the other tools occurs because it uses a different scheduler. Even when using the same scheduler, Polygeist can select a different statement set and therefore a different schedule. This is because Polygeist extracts statements as opposed to using the original C code. On the Seidel 2D test, Pluto generated code uses many more instructions than Polygeist, which, when multiplying those instructions by 3 GHz, accounts for the minute sized gap. This can be caused by different integer optimizations and Polygeist's use of a proper machine size index and subsequent bound simplification. In contrast, for Jacobi 2D, the Polygeist pipeline performs worse as it chooses to stop earlier when simplifying the 75 statement copies in 40 branches, whereas the default Clang pipeline chooses to take longer to simplify the code, ending up with better vectorization. The parallel polyhedral performance results are a more defined version of the same trend. Polygeist has a 9.5x speedup, Pluto has a 7.5x speedup, and Poly has a 3.3x speedup. Of course, the same scheduling differences that we described for the sequential code also impact the parallel version. Specifically, the Pluto and Polygeist schedules are better on Cholesky and LU, whereas Gemver and MVT are better using Poly schedule. Lugcomp and SYRK and SYR2K benefit from traditional SSA optimizations, allowing better performance for both Poly and Polygeist. Polygeist is the only framework that can parallelize Deriche and Sim by analyzing and removing the loop carry dependency. The two tests get a 7 to 8x speedup as a result. Finally, Polygeist identifies a parallel reduction within Gramschmidt and Durbin. On the Gramschmidt test, this yields a small advantage, whereas the Durbin test sees a 6x slowdown as the loop has few iterations. Diving deeper into parallel reduction detection, in the Durbin test in particular, we see that Polygeist is the only tool able to achieve a sizable speedup when we increase the number of iterations. We therefore hypothesize that the parallel slowdown on the default number of iterations occurs because the extra overhead of creating and synchronizing parallel threads outweighs the benefits of the additional parallelism. When reduction detection is turned off, Polygeist follows a similar trend as Poly. However, Polygeist starts to see parallel speedup around 16,000 iterations, whereas Poly requires 224,000 iterations. Pluto fails to parallelize the program at all and shows no speedup. In addition to simplifying reduction detection, the abstraction-spanning nature of Polygeist allows us to implement a new optimization, statement splitting. Specifically, when generating statements, we previously described how to reconstruct similar statements to the original C program. However, we don't need to reconstruct the original C statements, which may actually hinder scheduling. Consider the program below with a single statement S, which computes F and adds the result into a matrix A. We can instead choose to insert a scratchpad M and split S into two statements, which separately compute F and add the result into A. This statement splitting results in finer grain statements, which can result in different schedules being explored. Without the splitting, Pluto will never propose the schedule on the right because of the reduction to dependency along the k-axis of A. The schedule on the right, however, is found when the statement is split and results in temporal locality for B and spatial locality for C. We developed a simple heuristic to estimate when statement splitting will be helpful. We found five benchmarks in Polybench where our statement splitting heuristic was applicable and observed performance improvements by co the corresponding splitting. Such splitting can be helpful for both sequential and parallel execution. More details are available in the paper. In conclusion, Polygeist is an end-to-end -end polyhedral compiler that combines the best parts of source-level and compiler-level polyhedral tools. This includes a C and C++ frontend for MLAR, a set of transformation passes for raising to a fine, and integrating existing polyhedral tools within MLAR. Because Polygeist spans the abstraction barrier, it provides an easy platform to introduce novel polyhedral optimizations, such as statement splitting and reduction detection, which are difficult to perform on existing representations. Together, this allows Polygeist to outperform existing polyhedral optimizers on both sequential and parallel code generation. Finally, Polygeist is open source on GitHub with more information available on our website. There are several people we'd like to thank for thoughtful discussions on the work, as well as several funding agencies for making this work possible. Thank you so much. Any questions?